Hello Kate, thanks for coming in. Uh, you have come up with some fantastic ideas for ceramic painting workshops. Uh, I'm going to ask you to tell us a little bit about each of the ones we've got dates for so far and then of course you've got the extra next year class that I will okay. sneak a little teaser in for at the end. So the first one um, I was going to ask you about is the pet parade. Mm -hmm. Tell us what that workshop is about. Okay so we're going to do some lovely bowls for your pets. I've got a couple of different sizes. Here's one I've prepared earlier for uh, Holly. Um, and I've just done a little portrait of Holly in there, but you could do whatever you wanted in your pet bowl. And I've got some smaller ones for cats or rabbits. Um, and we're also going to do um, a little tile, a painted tile, ceramic tile. Here's one I did um, last night, and it's going to have a, it'll be framed when it's finished. Um, and it just, you can just see the difference there. The, the glazed bowl and then how the paints go on they go on all chalky so this is a workshop it's in the middle of December mm -hmm. and I think you told me there's enough time for you to take these away and fire them and have them back here at Vitreous Art yep. in time for present giving time yeah, that'll be fine yeah so you're not can... allowed to mention Christmas yet okay we? no we won't do that no. No, no yeah we'll get them back in time for Christmas fantastic <laughs> and so these are yeah, well, I, I think you've answered all the questions, actually. <laughs> now, I've seen the little colour sample disc there. Could you tell me what that yeah, is? Yes, so everyone will have um, one of these because this is the fired colour. This is how the paints come out when they've been fired. They don't go on necessarily looking like this. So um, here's Lisa with lots of bits of white on her. It'll be more translucent. Um, it won't be so there won't be so much white on her when it's been fired um, because you build up the layers the density of the color um, and the more you put on the more dense the color is but we can go we can go over that on the classes but okay. the paints are fun to use they're great they're really forgiving they're water based they're yeah they're fun to use so okay. suitable for anyone that is quite artistic isn't scared to have a go at if you bring a picture of your of your pet in to have a go and I can help you with the proportions and the painting but it's uh, not difficult it's fun to sounds do. like a great idea yeah good okay the the next one um is favorite books favorite books and you are a bibliophile aren't you? I am yeah I do like my books so this is the kind of thing I do I paint supersized mugs with book spines on um now how much tea do you get in that mug that's a pint a pint of tea Mike <laughs> a pint of gin <laughs> <laughs> so for the for the book loving workshop I'll put the bowl away we're going to do a nice big tea tray it's quite flat and we're going to paint book spines on the tea tray so if you come prepared with the favorite books that you want to paint that'd be great and then we can also do a, a coffee mug to go on top as well so this is what I started painting this morning so you can see how I sort of have built up the spines with very simple painting um, brush strokes you can see how different they look this is your little paint bible and then I've got some really fine paint brushes that you can use to, to paint the, the spines on but and you said you would do the tray first so that people sort yeah of do the tray get, first get the feel of the paint yeah because you've got a bit more space to play with so you can get more confident then when you start painting a bit tinier but I've got lots of tips for you know fitting on your books you haven't got to fit all this writing on if you don't want to you can get away with you know much smaller titles and it's still just as effective so there's quite a lot of flexibility in that yeah. in your, in your yeah. oh yeah for sure yeah yeah, yeah. okay so that's the favorite books favorite workshop. books yeah okay and then um the christmas workshop christmas I know you said we weren't allowed to talk about christmas but, I know. but we must we must yeah so christmas workshop we're going to be painting um a really lovely spherical bauble and you can paint whatever you want on this or i will come with some ideas to kickstart your creativity and then after you've done that if there's time we can do some lovely Christmas other some other shapes fantastic that's, that's an evening workshop isn't it so evening it's, just, workshop it's just a couple of hours I think with some snacks and some fizz you promised yeah, some fizz I did promise yeah, um, yeah. but yeah that so, sounds brilliant okay so we need to find an additional date for that if we possibly can don't we because we've got one day we've got one day, we've got one day. I think it's going to be pretty popular I hope so yeah. yeah it's going to be super fun they're all going to be fun yeah so this is this is ceramic painting you take the pieces away to be fired but you said something about the glazers as well what was remind me what the plan was for yeah so we need to let the um the paint needs to dry sufficiently before we can glaze them and I'd really like people in the workshop to see how 
things are glazed. So I'll bring some items to be glazed and people can have a go because you dunk it in a great big bucket of gloop and it comes out and all your artwork's disappeared and it's a bit like, ooh, and then it comes back out of the kiln all nice and shiny. It's really Fantastic. exciting. Fantastic. So they can see how, what, how that works. You're doing a good job of selling it to me. <laughs> it's going to be really fun. Yeah, really fun. yeah. Not too heavy. Not too, not too difficult. No. no, no, no. There's no pressure. No, it's okay. just going to be fun to do. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so uh, for everyone who wants to book, and that will be everyone, I'm fairly sure, I hope so. um, you can book via the Vitreous Art website, vitreous artcouk forward slash classes, or you can pop into the studio here. And of course, you can ask, ask any questions. If you like the look of these classes, then you've got something in mind for early next year based on your oh, yeah. life, former life on the canal. Yeah, so my parents used to live on a canal near. Bambury and um, Barger, I don't know if you could picture it, Barger has like roses and castles on quite a dark background, it's quite fun. Um, I thought we could do some teapots and maybe some um, mugs in um, a Bargeware style, traditional or our own take on it. We'll see what happens, but I think that'll be fun. That will be fun, yeah, that sounds like a really nice yeah. workshop. So we need to get cracking and sort that one out as well. Yeah, then. yeah we Fantastic. need to save a date. Yeah. But in the meantime, Pet Parade, favourite books, Christmas baubles. Yeah, come along. Ready to go. Have some fun. <laughs> come along and book. Yeah. yeah, great. Okay, thanks ever so much, Kate. Thank you, Mike. Brilliant.